Hey guys, so one of my favorite things to shop for is pre-loved designer items, whether it be a handbag, accessory, anything like that. I've shared my love for it on this channel and a lot of you guys have asked if I could share the process, the journey, how I choose something, why I wanna buy it, how I get a good deal, and reputable sites where you can find authentic items. So that's what this video is gonna be, a how-to guide to buying pre-loved designer items. Let's go ahead and get started. I think the most important thing when you are shopping for a pre-loved designer item is to make sure it's 100% authentic and that can be really hard to do so it's really good to find reputable sites or places to shop at where you know the item has been authenticated, it's 100% real and you don't have to kind of have that worry. If you guys watched my like eBay unboxing video, having that like thought in the back of your mind, is this real, is it authentic or is it not, it just doesn't make the experience that great. So I really recommend finding a site that is 100% 100% authentic. Personally, I really love the Real Real. I've talked about them before. I love shopping there. They actually have a store in New York City in Soho. Michael and I went there a couple weeks ago and they reached out to me on Instagram, noticed I went shopping there and asked if they could sponsor today's video. So thanks so much to the Real Real for sponsoring and collaborating with me. I'm gonna insert some clips here so you guys can see what their store in um, Soho looks like. It's a really beautiful store. You guys can see in the clips the store is set up really beautiful it's in Soho it's a really great location and you can shop for all their different brands there it's all like a really cool experience and there's a bunch of really unique pieces men's women's there's like a cute little coffee shop so I love walking around there they also have a new location that just opened up in LA on Melrose Avenue so next time I'm there I'm definitely gonna go check it out as well but it's just a really fun experience I'm more of an online shopper though especially when it comes to buying like a pre-loved item because you can't always find exactly what you're looking for and that's something that you definitely want to keep in the back of your mind I like to have a wish list going and I'll browse the website maybe a couple times a week or just here and there to see if they have the item that I'm looking for because new things go up every day so I have kind of like a running list of things that I'm looking for and when you are shopping for a used item there are a couple different reasons why you'd actually be like shopping in this market and not just going to the store so if something is like limited edition, super rare, sold out, you're gonna wanna try to find it on the pre-loved market if you can't get your hands on it. So sometimes the price point would be like equal to or even more, depending on how like in demand the item is. But a lot of times it's items that you could buy at the store brand new or you could get them for still really good, like excellent condition or very good condition and get a lot better price point on it. So I personally am all about saving money. I mean, why wouldn't I be? So I really love shopping online for my used items. So I bought so many things online before, like used items. I bought handbags, jewelry, accessories, shoes, a bunch of different stuff I've shown on my channel before. I think I have a video where I showed everything, so I'll link that up here, you guys can watch it. But I was really in the market for a certain duffel bag. It's been on my wish list for like over a year now. Actually, when I was pregnant, I was really considering buying it then. I remember going into the store, trying it on, thinking like, ooh, do I get it? And I just knew that I had to buy it pre-loved because it's such a better price point. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I ended up buying it online. So when we came back from New York, Michael and I were looking on the website together. It's kind of fun to do it together. And we go through the website. So what I personally like to do is I have a pretty high standard of what I look for. I won't get anything unless it's very good or like excellent condition. So a lot of the items I have have never even been worn or if they have 
they've kept them in really nice condition. So you guys can choose, obviously, whatever you're in the market for, but I always like to find something that's basically brand new. So let me show you what I got. So here is the huge box that it came in. It shipped really fast too. We ordered it like at midnight one night laying in bed and it got here within like just a couple of days. And the item comes in this really nice dust bag. If the item comes with like its own original dust bag, they'll give you that. But if it doesn't, then they'll give you their own dust bag. And it came like with a bunch of bubble wrap and receipt and paperwork and stuff too. It came inside another bag too. So you get all the information that you need that says it's authentic and what you paid for it and everything like that. So here's what I picked up. This is the Louis Vuitton Keep Ball. I did get the bandolier with the strap so you could wear it cross body. This is the size 50. So this retails brand new right now for, I think it's around $1,800 and I got it for around 1,300. So I ended up saving $500 on this bag and it's in really, really good condition. I actually love the way that the leather looks when it's already patinaed a little bit and it has that really pretty like caramely brown color to it. So other than that, like you can tell this bag obviously has been used because the leather has turned a little bit, but it just is in really good condition. It's really soft and buttery and really nice. The zipper is really nice. <laughs> So I love it. It came with everything. You have the little um, luggage tag that you could definitely get, you know, embossed with your initials on it. You have this little strap. I actually don't know what that's for. And then the inside in the small dust bag came the long strap. So let me put this on and show you guys what it looks like. So here's what the bag looks like on me. Like I said, I got the 50. They have a bunch of different sizes. I knew that the 45 was gonna be too small and the 60 was gonna be way too big for me. I'm five foot three, so I feel like size-wise, this is a pretty good size for me. I was definitely in between the 50 or the 55, but I know like I'm just thinking this is gonna be something that I'm putting over my shoulder. So I didn't want it to be something that I could bulk up and have be like really heavy. So I think the size 50 is perfect. Obviously it'll look a little bit different when it's full, but you can wear it over one shoulder. You could do it cross body. I just think it's a really cool bag. I actually have like the Speedy, so it kind of reminds me of this and I haven't worn that bag in years. Maybe I should like pull it back out, but I just think this will be a really cool kind of like easy slouchy travel duffel bag, maybe even a gym bag. So for me, part of the fun really is like searching for the exact tan bag you wanted. I really knew that I wanted something with the extra strap, but I wanted a good price on it. I really knew I wanted something that came with all the little details, like the luggage tag and everything. So I'm really happy with what I got, but it's just, it's so much fun. I really love the process. So definitely check out the website, see if there's something that you're interested in. Maybe you could get a good deal on it. I know for these key balls that if you get it without the strap, the deal is like incredible. A lot of them are like under a thousand. So it's definitely something to take a look at and see if it's something that you might like. I think this would be really cool just as like a carry on or an overnight bag. I actually have a little luggage tag that has my initials on it already. So I think I'm going to switch it out for that one. So here you guys can see it's in really, really good condition. There aren't many watermarks on the straps or anything. I could actually probably polish up a little bit on the sides here, but it's worn in really, really nice. So I hope you guys like my bag. Definitely keep in mind these tips. So look in store, online, definitely shop somewhere that you know is 100% authentic like the real real so you can take the guesswork out of it and you don't have to worry. You can just enjoy the shopping process. Make a wish list of items that you're looking for, what you're looking for uh, condition wise, excellent, very good, good. You know, what you're willing to spend, what you wanna save. Definitely keep all that in mind when shopping for a pre-loved item and just have fun, enjoy the process says to be honest the most fun part for me is shopping for it and like watching videos on reviews and what to look for and stuff like that so I just really have a fun time doing it but I hope you guys enjoyed if you've ever bought anything pre-loved let me know what you've got down below if you're interested in something I'd love to hear you guys' stories please subscribe if you're new I make new videos every week on fashion beauty lifestyle thanks so much to the real real for sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video I'll talk to you guys next time bye Oh